I can't zoom in. That's lame. Lame, lame, lame. Anyways, what's up, everyone? I know it's been a while. Uh, the pills that the dentist gave me to take, they're working, and I have no more tooth pain. Well, every once in I guess every once in a while, like when the pills start wearing off, I'll start feeling it again, but not as bad as it was last week, that's for sure. Anyways, since the pain's gone, I still gotta go to the dentist, so to get them fixed, so I don't have to worry about it again. But, since it's gone for now, we can get back to recording. I miss this. I missed us. <laughs> and you know what? I had an awesome idea for a food review today. I don't know where I heard this from. But you see we got some waffles here, right? Okay, we got some waffles. What goes with waffles? I heard in a movie or TV show before, chicken. And since I like, I like this chicken already with my ramen noodles, if it is good, it's going to be fire. So we're going to take some of these chicken wings, four of these waffles, mix them together. See how that tastes. Chicken and waffles. Where, has I, where have I heard that before? I don't know. But we're about to try it out. And you're all about to see it now for yourself if you haven't heard it. Or tried it yourself now. <laughs> we're about to hear it now. You know, looking at toasters and pots and pans, even plates after you use them for too long, it's like, for those that say cooking in the microwave ain't just that good enough for them, you're crazy. Because if you're able to cook with dirt, like dirty stuff like this and eat and be okay with it, then you're crazy. That's all I gotta say. I'm glad to be cooking with the microwave most of the time. Because it's mostly clean food then. But, um, yeah, we'll use this uh, toaster for the waffles. And while I do that, I'll be heating up the chicken so we'll have them done at the same time. And I was thinking, like, what kind of condiments should I use for them? Do I use. Obviously, I don't use ketchup because ketchup would be nasty with waffles. And luckily, the chicken wings we got are already, like, flavored with barbecue, sweet barbecue. So, that should work good with the waffles. And uh, I guess we'll just add some syrup with them. I don't see how syrup could make chicken taste bad. Look at this futuristic son of a... Really, look at this. No labels on the buttons. We got lights on the buttons. But it's not like it's going to light up and tell you what it is. Oh, you know what? The labels are being worn off. Well, that's what happens with old toasters. Hopefully I know it's on. This thing smells like it's burning something in there. I don't think it smells like a bug, because bugs, bugs smell like burnt hair. It smells like... I don't know, just old metal, old wet metal. I bought it. Yeah. The only way to do is look at that. I, that's no way it's done. But now I remember why we don't use this anymore. Someone changed the time on there. And now, since the labels are all worn out, now it just set the super short time. How are you supposed to fix this? I don't even know. Just hopefully, I guess I'm gonna just keep pushing it in until it's done. <laughs> that sounded wrong. Kind of screwed up. I forgot how fast it was to cook these waffles with the toaster. They're done. And now I gotta wait three minutes. To let these chicken wings be done. Now our chicken's done. I put the waffles in just one more time. So. Sorry to swear, but uh, I'm going to put them in one more time just so they can get a little bit more crispy, and yeah, we'll see how this goes. Well, we got our chicken, we got our waffles, and we'll do a little taste test too to make sure these chicken cooked all the way. Mm-hmm. Waffles. That's as crispy as you're going to get. So I rearranged it a bit to make put the chicken on top because I think that'll be more easier to cut through. 
Well, let's add the syrup as a soda drinker. We need that syrup. Plain waffles ain't never gonna cut it. It looks pretty cool on the chicken, I'm not gonna lie. Gives it that glossy look. <laughs> okay, that should be enough. A little bit more. Okay. It has a really good smell to it with the sweet barbecue and the uh, now syrup. It's really good. It smells like it. Okay, I think I probably cooked the waffles a little bit too much because they're like chips. <laughs> but, uh, we got some waffles, some chicken here, some of that syrup. Let's give this a try. Hmm. Wow, that's weird. It kind of tastes like um, the way when you have, um, it reminds me of like ham in an omelet. I don't know why, but it just has that same taste. I, I thought it was like a new taste, but no, it's like ham and cheese and an egg. It's good though. Sure don't fall here. Mm. What would I rate this meal? Out of a 10? I don't think I could give it a 10. Because it's cool that it's a new flavor and stuff. But the best flavor? No. Like, maybe it's because I'm using the wrong chicken for this idea. Or what? I don't know. Maybe you need like fried chicken or something. Would taste better, I could imagine, because one time I tried uh, for KFC food, I tried some of their honey, uh, honey syrup or maple syrup, whatever it was. I put that on a piece of chicken, and wow, it tasted great. But um, this has a different taste to it, you know. This um, I probably give this a four out of ten, honestly. It's not even the greatest to be the halfway, you know. So, yeah, that's our review on chicken and waffles. Hope you all. New food combo right there. Sadly, it wasn't the best like I thought it would be. But, at least we tried it and at least we know now. Not to try it again. <laughs> but, uh, stay awesome, people. Peace out.